everybody, Sean from our Hodgepodge Homestead. Hey, I'm down in the pantry, as you can see behind me. And uh, between, oh, harvest time, uh, right into winter, into Christmas, Thanksgiving, all that, having uh, lots of company over, lots of people over for different dinners, birthdays, you know, Thanksgiving, Christmas, all that. Um, this uh, room down here, really got away from me um i know in the past i've said you know everything's got its place everything should be in its place well uh, this pantry has become a catch-all for all my empty jars um to be honest with you i haven't kept up on my inventory board um let's see i've got uh more spices that are happening and i don't have uh, new shelves built yet between everything I just mentioned and trying to renovate the south end of this house, um, which has been slow going too, um, I just haven't gotten shelves built. I haven't uh, gotten a lot of things done that I was really trying to do and get done. However, um, I want to get this cleaned up and I want to do a proper inventory because Heather and I, just this past weekend, did a whole um we basically went through all of our seeds and decided on what we needed to uh to order uh what we're actually going to plant revamping our planting situation outside with you know, the way the sun comes across our yard and uh you know last year we had some tall plants in front of short plants which kept the sun from getting those and we had a lot of issues that way so we learned a lot and uh, we're gonna spread that information out to you guys um, we are, uh, getting ready for a big storm here in Michigan. So they say, you know, I always say, uh, I don't know if you all know this, but I retired from the U.S. Postal Service and I've always said that the only two professions that you can be wrong every day and still keep your job is a postal supervisor and a weatherman. So whether or not we're going to get snow five inches, 22 inches, whatever they're saying, it will get what we get. And I don't know how much we get when I start shoveling. So anyway, back to the pantry here. Like I said, I really want to get, you know, I've got jars on the floor in four or five different places. Um, I'll just carry around and, and I'll try to be nice and easy with you and show you what's going on. Um, like I said, I've got to get uh, potatoes put in jars. I've got spices that need jars. Well, I've got ground cinnamon over there, but the one over there is full, and why I bought this, I don't really know. But uh, I don't have a thing for cream of tartar. I don't really want to use one of these big old things for cream of tartar, but so they're all the same. I'm going to. Um, I've got a mess here with, like, here's a jar that shouldn't be there. i got more jars down here on the floor. i got jars right there. Am I pointing right? Yeah, you know, I always have an issue with that. I've got chocolate jalapeno seeds up here that I've got to get put away. I've got mouse traps up here because it's gotten so cold. And this wall right here is west, and that's north through my well house. So we get a lot of wind that hits this wall. And with that being our well house, I've double insulated it since I've lived here. But when it gets seven degrees outside and that wind's blowing 20 miles an hour, we're nervous of uh, having some pipe issues or well issues. So we're leaving that door open now. And it's made a big difference in here. Um, let's see, right now it's sitting right on a little bit over 60 degrees, which is wonderful. Um, so that's made a big difference keeping this door open. And it only took about two days to not notice the difference walking down here. So anyway... Um, but yeah, like I've got uh, brown sugar that needs to get put away after the holidays, um, that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, I got coffee filters up here, and I'm getting low on coffee. I've got cast iron laying in different places. Um, this year's rosemary needs to get put away. I've got lids to um, my big jars just sitting here instead of being in their place, so... Like I said, 
It's awesome to live by everything has a place and everything in its place. Living that way is a different story. And you know how we always try to, you know, keep it real here at the hodgepodge. So um, I'm going to set you back in the well house and I'm going to do some cleaning. And of course, when the time comes, we'll be um, fast forwarding that. So you don't have to watch and hear and everything else because jars are loud. But uh, that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to take you along with me and uh, let's get at it. I just made a mess doing that. All right, I'm gonna have to revamp these shelves too. Because on this shelf I've got all my all-purpose flour. Uh, I've got white sugar, brown sugar, powdered sugar, salt, iodized salt, non-iodized salt, and uh, pink Himalayan salt. So yeah, I'm going to have to redo that shelf right there. Yeah, let me just find it. <laughs> that shelf right there. Okay. When I was a kid, I used to get a spoon out of the drawer and go to the brown sugar bowl and get a whole spoonful of brown sugar. Loved it. That's probably why at 58, I still have a cavity. I just went to the dentist the other day and I've got a cavity. 58 years old, I've got a cavity. rosemary put somewhere so I think I'll work on that rosemary right now um, yeah it's gonna take way more than that so I think what I'll do is I'll put them all in bulk right now and then get from there when I need to fill this one later I use rosemary I use rosemary herbs de Provence sage every time I cook a chicken I don't care if I spatchcocked it putting it on the grill if I'm smoking it, if I'm cooking in a, a you know, a, a slow cooker, what do you really call them, a crock pot, or in a roaster oven, any oven, whatever. Those are my three faves with chicken. All right, for this, 
Um, I think what I'm going to do is put them in one of these large, what are these, wide mouth, uh, two, two quart, I believe, quart and a half maybe, gallon, they ain't gallon, but I'm going to put them in these because I've got four or five of these laying around, so that's what I'm going to do. that's years worth of rosemary um, if not I'll be growing more rosemary this summer I mean I'll know where I'm at come harvest time of this I think I'm just gonna plant a lot of it we're, we're planning on the possibility of maybe doing like a little um, uh, vegetable stand in our front yard here we get quite a bit of traffic on the, the road like this a quarter mile north of us and I think if I were to put a sign down there and a sign on the other end um, I mean, it's pretty good traffic on that. And who knows, if we make a couple hundred bucks, it's a couple hundred bucks, goes right back into the farmstead, you know? So that's what, I think that's what we're gonna try to do. Let me get this put back. Oh, still smells so good down here. And originally, um, I was gonna take this rope down. Where is it? There it is, this rope. But I think I'm gonna leave it up there. You know, rosemary time next year. Um, another thing I'm going to do differently when harvest time comes is, uh, this is kind of what I did with my onions. I put them in, we bought bags, I put them in onion bags and I think I'm going to, uh, weave them or braid them. I think I'm going to braid them instead of doing it this way. I think they'll last longer if the stem stays on them. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to look into that, but, um, I gotta put you on hold. I gotta go wash these hands off. They're really sticky from that uh, rosemary. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. It's, it's very surprising how um, oily that rosemary was. Um, I had to wash my hands like two or three times to get it off. It was I've never experienced that before. Um, I'm hoping, and they felt they felt really dry. But as oily as they were, um, I think I'm going to leave this untight for a while and uh, just put it on real lightly. Just make sure that it's going to still dry really good. Um, so I've got this rosemary for my last year's harvest. But I didn't use a whole lot of rosemary last year for uh, whatever reason, I don't know. But I also take rosemary and I, I'm turning it into a powder with uh, well, spice grinders. And then I turn it into a, um, uh, just like a sifted. So it's not quite as long and crunchy as this. It's sifted, almost like um, a heavily cracked black pepper would be. And then I do it fine like regular black pepper. And it's just uh, different purposes in, in cooking. I do the same thing with my herbs to province, same thing with celery powder versus uh, like if you dehydrate celery and just chop it up, then you can even go further and make it into powder. And a lot of times you'll use celery powder um, when you're working with charcuterie. So I'll get on into all that later some other time. I feel pretty good about what we did today. We got all the jars cleaned up off the floor except for I got a few of the little oddball jelly jars and I've got a couple pint jars down there that I'm going to do the potatoes with. Um, I'm going to uh, drop this video off right here and um, I'll do the inventory on another video with you guys. I mean I don't think you need to sit and count all my jars of 
canned goods with me and my cans of potatoes and carrots and green beans and corn and cream style corn sweet peas <sighs> um yeah so at that i'll let you guys go right now and you know how i always say here at Todge Podge homestead we love having a clean orderly pantry and you should too we'll see you guys later